hello guys welcome back in today's video we are going to create the first project of python programming language by using the tools that we have learned so far so if you are following the playlist that i created and you are following up until now then this project is going to be so helpful to practice all those tools that we have learned in to proceed this project basically we have a specific folder in the specific folder, we have three types of files, the audio files, the video files, and the text files. So if we want to separate all these files, that the audio files, all the audio files should be in the one folder, and all the video files should be in one folder, and all the text files should be in one folder. No matter the quantity of the audio files, video files, and text files, uh, if we have so many audio files and video files, they are all mixed in a folder then we can use this code that i am going to discuss to separate these files now now let's proceed further so to proceed further we need to uh, have import the os module the os module and the shuttle module we have discussed so far and these are the extension normally used for the audio extension files that dot mp3 dot wav and dot flag the, uh, we can also add uh, more extension which uh, respect to our requirements and also we have the video extensions uh, and then we have the text extensions so we can change these extensions and we can increase the number of extensions uh, with respect to our requirement if we have so many text files uh, with different form with different extensions or and formats we can use it here what I mean to say is we can separate each and everything by just writing the code and just including its extension here. Alright, now these are, uh, I have created a dictionary called T and mentioned these extension. Now, so the first thing that we need to do is to create, uh, is to define the folder part. So I am going to create a folder. This is the variable and in this variable, I'm going to store the path of the folder which contains all these three types of files. So I have already created a folder in my system. I called it the test folder and we can see that there are so many text files in PDF format, in docs format and in text txt format. And then we have audio files also and then we have video files also. So now let's copy the path from here and paste it. All right, now this path will be stored in folder. Now let's proceed. Now I am going to create a function called dev and I am naming it file finder. So the first thing, uh, the first argument of this function is folder, which has the path and I am going to create another argument, which is files because uh, we need to extract files. So there must be another argument of this function now uh, we need to return now we uh, what this function will return i am going to use all the syntax in the list comprehension method we have also discussed the list comprehension method so it is going to be useful that uh, it will be revision of the list comprehension also now i am going to create a for loop so OS dot list dir. We already have discussed this method when we were discuss. Uh, we already have discussed when we were discussing OS module that what is uh, the list dir method will do. So if you don't know what it, uh, what it is, uh, you should watch the pre the video about OS module which I have created. Now, uh, after this, uh, we need to uh, define the folder path. So I need to write the folder. Uh, the folder path is stored in this variable. And then I am I need to create another for loop and for the file extension. So for the file extension, I need to for extension. I'm using ext as the short form of extension in files. So this is the uh, it will be it will uh, run on the second argument of this function files and it will extract all the extension of the files basically. So I am I'm going to use the if condition that i dot ends with so basically we use ends with to extract the last of the name so i am using it and ext which is the extension so i'm i am extracting extension from this from this folder 
all so all the extensions of the files will be extracted by using this line which which this function will return basically this folder path just identifies the path of the folder which we are going to uh, separate each files and then this files uh, which we are using here uh, to it is basically represents this uh, the file all the files in this folder and we are using uh, this line in by using the list comprehension to extract the extension of each file as we discussed uh, that if we are going to apply for loop in d which is dictionary data type so we have it will generate two types of results the first one is the key and the second one is the value so we have basically two different results for the separate for the e and separate for the value so as you can see if i am going to apply for loop so i am going to name it key and value because we are going to apply this for loop in d dictionary in d dot items to separate each item i am going to use this items method which we have learned when we were learning dictionary so this is the revision of all the tools which are useful up until today now what we are going to do in this for loop uh, we need to create the folder names as we can see the if we are going to separate the audio files the video files and a text file so we need to create the name for each file also uh, in in the folder we need to create uh, the folder name to store each file in the specific folder that we have suppose if i am going to create out an audio an audio uh, folder uh, which consists all the audio files and if i am going to create a video folder which consists all the video files and same for the text so to create uh, auto i want to create automatically so it will be it will generate uh, basically it will create the folders automatically so for this i am going to use the folder name so i am going to name this variable the folder name because it defines the name of the folder and so for this i we need to use the key because all the names will be stored in key so i need to separate split this by using this split method i am going to split it by the semi uh, by the underscore it will be uh, the audio we can extract this name for the audio and the video and the text so the it will not going to work if i don't put zero here because it we we need only this not the not this part here so i need to put the index zero here and then i will also want to put the files that or uh, it the folder name should be audio files video files and text files so i can directly put the first the gap and then i can write here files so it will directly concatenate automatically when this for loop will run i hope you i hope it is clear now we also need to define the folder path from uh, that where the folder must store so uh, the folder will automatically create within the folder which we are going to perform all these tasks so basically this is the main folder and in this folder these all the three subfolders for audio video and text will be generated so i am going to create another variable and i am naming it folder path so in this folder path uh, i am going to use the os module and the path dot join method we need to define the folder which is basically the main folder and we also need to define the names so i am naming it folder name which we have just created here folder name variable now let's proceed further so to create folder we need to uh, make use the mkdir so i can directly use that here mkdir and the name is folder path so basically to join the paths for each files which we have just uh, did it for the uh, folder here we need to create for loop uh, because we cannot do this manually again and again for the folders we have uh, used used this for loop and inside this for loop we are i am going to create another for loop and i am naming it item 
because it will extract each item from the folder from the main folder basically so i can directly write here in so uh, we needed to uh, the name of the function which is file finder and inside this we have the folder argument and we have basically now the value this to extract the each value which consists extensions of each file we need to use this value variable here now we need to define the path so i am naming it item path uh, the path for each file so we can just define it death we need to do the uh, same method as we did for the folder the main folder and the item which is the that each item must be in this folder we have joined the path to extract each item from this main folder now uh, we need to save these items into into a new folder basically because these all these folders will be created that a uh, video folder text folder and or uh, the audio folder so these we need to define the new path also so to define the new path i am naming it atom new path so in this so in this we need to do the same process we we need to use this os.path.join and in this we need to insert the new path the new path it is there the folder path which we have just created here it will define the basically it is the path of the new folders which will be created and pasted here this is the this is for the new folder this is this path is for the new folders basically and then we need to use the items which will be stored in this folder path now at last we need to use the shuttle module to move each item from this folder main folder to the new folders which will be created so i am going to use this shuttle module which we have also discussed when we were learning os module so if you haven't watched my previous videos uh, you should watch the those videos first and then come to this video otherwise uh, most of the things uh, will not make sense now in this i am going to move from first part into another path uh basically in in basically i need to move all the files from older path to the new path so this is the path that older and then we have another i am copying pasting it uh, so i should not make any type error basically so let's discuss it to whole so first uh, we imported os module and shuttle module which we will be using as we see here and then we create a dictionary which we are representing as a d very uh, d and then we store uh, a, all the extension that we will be having in the folder all the files that we have from these extensions we can also extend these extensions with respect to our requirements if we have all the files we, we just need to put the extension here and it will automatically extract those files and created the new folder for each respective file and then we have folder which we are defining the folder of the uh, which have these types three types of files which we are going to working with this is the folder basically we can see that uh, there are so many files for audio video and text files now and then we are going to create a function and this function has two arguments the folder which we have defined path and the files which is representing the files basically and return function it is returning all the extensions of each item present in folder and then we are using for loop in dictionary and we are separating each item and first we are separating creating each folder with the name of the files it is having and then we are applying another for loop to extract each atom from the main folder and 
move it into the new folder. So this is all the mini project I can say that. So let's run it to see it is working or not. Now let's run it. So as we can see that it has been executed. Now let's see that it has uh, working or not. We can see that there are three folders has been created. The audio files, the text files and the video files. Uh, let's see that in audio files we have all the audios. And in text files we have all the PDF documents, the docs documents and the, all the files. The TXT files also. And we have in video we have all the video files. So. I hope you learned something new from this project. If you want to, ex uh, basically this project is also used for uh, the application. If I have, uh, suppose that, that I have hundreds and hundreds of files and I want to uh, separate audio, video and text files. So this project is really helpful for you uh, to do this types of task. So I hope it is fine. Uh, see you in next week. If you are new to this channel, please hit the like button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any notification. So take care. See you in next week.